seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back Wait, out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, New Day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is May Let's see that energy out there. New Day. New Day. New. Oh, wow, check this out. Hey. Oh, look at this. Who's this? Uh-oh. You probably can take out the entire desk. Look, look, look who you haven't seen in a while. It's the hobo. It's the infamous hobo cat. Say say, say hi to everyone. She's fun. Wait, what? I told you, don't give them the middle claw. You gave me the middle claw. Ow! You're vicious. Boop. Yeah, that's a boop. Oh, that's not a boop. It's a punch. This is a boop. Boop. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. You're vicious. Vicious animal. Mind you, no animals are rarely hurt on the hobo and his girlfriend TV show. One day, I don't know. I've been thinking about renaming that. I have absolutely no clue. My head's in the way of the door of wrestling. Right back there is the door of wrestling. Welcome back, folks. Um, I've never realized working at home actually takes up so much time and is kind of exhausting because I'm mainly sitting in a chair the whole day. So I'm getting caught up a little bit. I should be able to get caught up for the most part. Remember, Friday I, is my last day. You can tell I've gone full hobo, too. A little scruffy there. Friday's my last day. You know what? That was just a sigh of relief. And then I started my. I have a couple days off. Have a date on Saturday. It's cool. Uh, Sunday I've off. Monday I've off. Tuesday I have to do my grocery shopping. Um, and then my new job starts on Wednesday, and that's when. They just start handing me piles of money, I hope, if I qualify. Yep, I'm not here to talk about financial stuff yet. I'm here to talk about, because I'm the one, the only hobo Tom. I have my macho man shirt on. That means this is a wrestling show. It's time to talk about Raw. Raw's actually kind of short. It felt shorter, probably because they only had... A bunch of, they had a whole bunch of recaps from WrestleMania, and I could understand that. This is the old WrestleMania list that is done into the pile of garbage. It goes. So Raw starts off Cody with his opening. That's pretty cool. The, I'm the grandson of a plumber, baby. And how you want to get his belt for his daddy, who's no longer with us. Except for Seth Rollins might stand in his way. Or Seth Rollins came out and shook his hand. That was weird. Seth's weird. Uh, our first match then, we had Naomi and Sasha taking on Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. And this is just kind of like a, this is a qualifying match, I guess, to see who gets the challenge. Obviously, Rhea and Liv aren't going to do that. In fact, we'll see what happens with them later. Uh, Rhea Ripley, she just, uh, the 10 count vertical suplex. That's actually pretty impressive. Although in Sasha Banks, not really. That's like me suplexing my nephews. Yeah. Yeah, Naomi and Banks, they start doing the double teamwork, and then it's just time to fly. Naomi has a big leg drop. That has to be the most cushionary, cushion, cushiony leg drop ever. Um, Sasha Banks to the outside, nails the Meteora. And then that was some weird, awkward toss out of Rhea Ripley. Like, she almost like kind of like didn't want to go out. Like, she went through, put her hand on the apron, flipped over, landed on her feet, and then decided to, like, fall down. It was just awkward. And again, getting her through the rope, she kind of went, hit the top rope first, like, awkwardly, and then, like, decided, oops, I have to go underneath this, take my bump. And she kind of pulled herself out. It's bad when wrestlers show you that. That means they're still a bit either skittish or not 100% ready for that. And there was the X-Factor 
um, backstabber combo by Naomi and Sasha Banks. Naomi and Sasha Banks wins in a good match. And this is the kicker. Rhea Ripley has had a bunch of loser tag team partners. She's getting fed up. Might she join Edge? Who knows? This match overall, cheeseburger match. Then we have Kevin Owens comes out, talks about how he got beat up. Then we have Elias or Ezekiel because he looks, he just shaved his face. He went all anti El Vagabundo. He has to come back as El Vagabundo. That would be hilarious. Um, then we had Dominic Mysterio versus a Miss. This was a quick match. This, this was not good. Dominic, again, the flying Mexican arm drags. Always good to see. Miss has hit like this. Like, I, I turn around, stare at my cat. Next thing I saw on my on my computer screen, because I stream, it had baked wrestling illegally. <sighs> yeah, I missed it. The skull crushing finale. I'm like, that's it. That was quick. Uh, Dominic still looks great. Our Mexican. I mean, anyone that can fly like that, put their faith in someone else. It's a ham sandwich match, though. And then we finally get Veer. Veer just comes out and beats up Ray and Dominic. That was useless. Uh, Bianca Belair did a promo. Yeah, it was okay. Then we had... Braun Breaker versus Dolph Ziggler. I'm like, huh? Like, this is just a repeat of Saturday night. Um, I guess this was actually kind of good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Rex Steiner... Again, so strong. Big overhead belly to belly. Dolph is so good at selling. However, he gets in his own moves. When he can. Uh... And then uh, Rex Steiner went from the top rope. He tried to climb the top. Probably going for his, his daddy's bulldog. Flying bulldog. He went from the top rope. All the way to the ground. Ooh. And literally, he didn't take that bump on the apron either. That's good. And then there was like a Bosch count because like Braun held Dolph and like he saw three and like, huh? He, he won. This is, they're getting bad at this, especially in AEW. Just wait for that burn job. Probably tomorrow. Uh, eventually Rex Steiner takes out Rude, Ziggler, Hit the famous sir, but yeah, that didn't happen. Braun Breaker just hit the spear. Dolph Ziggler. That was it. Braun Breaker gets his NXT Championship pack. You know what? Cheeseburger match. A little thing between Bobby Lashley and MVP. And MVP turns on Bobby Lashley. So many turns this show. Actually, yeah, that's the second turn this show. Um... Then Omos beats up Bobby Lashley, MVP, as a new client. A much bigger client. And this is going to go on for a little bit. That's good. Uh, Carmella and Selena Vega, again, they broke up as a tag team. Who cares? Um, little Austin, Stone Cold, uh, Pat McAfee and Austin Theory recap. That was good. Uh, then <laughs> Austin Theory's in the back kick getting... Dressed down by the Usos. Then we had RK Bro and Finn Balor versus Austin Theory and the Usos. Austin Theory, he stomps. Matt uh, takes the boots to Matt. This, again, fairly quick match. The Usos sucker uh, super kicked. Party. Is that muscle? That might be muscle. Wow. I am thinning out. That's good. Especially for my date. Gotta look svelte for her. Look masculine and manly. Not soft and fluffy. Yeah, soft and fluffy for men doesn't work. For cats it does. Not for men. And that reminds me I have to... Summertime I have to flee colorize her. Uh, where was I? Again. No, no, no. Randy, we're not letting him tag in yet. Uh, there was no ATL 
Instead, there was a, a DDT elbow combination by Finn Balor. That was an RKO. And then, again, you have your typical spot fest. The Usos go flying. They you have your typical spot fest. Everyone gets their, everyone gets their shit in. And then the Usos, um, they they do their flying frog splashes. So good are the Usos. Austin Theory and the Usos win as they should. They are part of the bloodline. They have all the belts. All the belts don't mean anything. Uh, again, Naomi should like join the bloodline. Just for continuity's sake. Fun mash. Cheeseburger mash. And we have the Edge promo. Uh, he brings out Damien Priest. He needs to bring out Rhea Ripley next. And that would be a pretty cool stable. Then AJ jumps Edge. AJ gets beat up. They're going to continue this for probably through SummerSlam. And then... Even though Edge says he might be around for three more years, who knows? Uh, the Street Profits in the last match of the night was Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. This was good. Oh, this is just too big. It's just a beatdown of the Street Profits right now. The Street Profits, again, when they get order into the ring from Chaos, they do good double team on poor Gable. Gable hit it like a fisherman's buster. It wasn't a suplex. Listen, the suplex is when you go all the way back. A buster is when you go down. And the scholar says, oh, look at that brain buster. No, nah, that was a suplex. I've seen brain busters before. That's not a brain buster. That's a suplex. Suplex, if the small of your back hits the mat the same time as your back and head do, that's a suplex. Brain buster. Top of the noggin. First. Maybe your shoulders. But not the small of your back and your legs. Yes, it's a difference between going like this versus going like this. Um, Ford hit a superplex that was good. Gable went through the table. For some reason, they had a table set up. Or it was a they announced table. What was it? Yeah, this is when they had two tables. So maybe it was that. Um... Again, Montez Ford flies from the top. Street Profits win. Solid cheeseburger match. Then we have the Roman Reigns promo. Just up, holds up both belts. Acknowledge me. Roman Reigns, you are my tribal chief. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. And that was Monday Night Raw. Solid show. I can't complain for being the Monday for Monday after WrestleMania. It just seemed to go faster for some reason. Um, so I am a little bit behind. I am getting stuff done. So today's a two video day. This video will get up eventually. Then NXT show, shows up. And then probably tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. Tonight I'll do AEW, maybe, and then Impact tomorrow, and then soon, baby, yeah, oh, I can't use that voice, it conjures up, that summons someone, who I think is my next door neighbor, but yeah, the 23rd, I get to live stream again, it's going to be an Impact live stream event, and actually, I know, I'll have off that. Hold off that day. Oh, wow. Well, and the hobo cat is back. Let me just return. Do you want to say you're sorry for hitting me? Did you just say fuzz me? She said fuzz me. And I asked her if she apologized for hitting me. So vicious an animal is her. Wow. Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be getting more content, more live content up. Also, oh, that's right. This is Ash Wednesday. Oh, wow. I just realized that. I forget how long that mass is.